Now to the fallout from the president's visit to St. John's Episcopal Church just after we were on the air last night here. The park police firing flashbangs, smoke canisters, pepper balls at peaceful demonstrators, apparently to clear the way for the president. We have learned it was Attorney General William Barr who gave the order. Tonight, church leaders are now expressing outrage. So are leaders in both parties. And here's our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. As President Trump rode through Washington today, citizens, including families with homemade signs, jeered the presidential limousine. We were in the motorcade watching the people, their signs withering. Are you a moral monster? I can't breathe. Today, outrage is growing over the forceful removal of peaceful protesters to clear the way for the president to hold a photo op at St. John's Church. It all began shortly after 6 p.m., the hour before Washington's curfew took effect. The protesters had gathered just a block from the White House gate. As the president prepared to speak in the Rose Garden, our camera spotted Attorney General Bill Barr surveying the scene. Sources tell ABC News the attorney general then gave the order to remove the protesters using force. And so it began, continuing even as the president was saying these words. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. You could hear the explosions from the Rose Garden, the police using flashbang, smoke canisters and pepper balls to force the protesters away. Among those roughed up, an Australian TV crew. The photographer hit in the face, his colleague hit with a baton as she tried to flee. After he was done speaking, the president, accompanied by his top advisors, walked to St. John's Church, crossing the street where the protesters had gathered less than an hour earlier. In front of the church, the president held up a Bible. Is that your Bible? It's a Bible. He summoned his advisors to pose for a photo before heading back to the White House. Among the first to express outrage, the Bishop of Washington, the spiritual leader of Episcopalians in the nation's capital, including the parishioners at St. John's. But he is not entitled to use the spiritual symbolism of our sacred spaces and our sacred texts to promote or to justify a completely entire, uh, a entirely different message. The condemnation stretched across the political spectrum, including prominent Republicans. If your question is, should you use tear gas to clear a path so the president can go uh, have a photo op, the answer is no. Republican Senator Ben Sass said, quote, I'm against clearing out a peaceful protest for a photo op that treats the word of God as a political prop. Even Pat Robertson, prominent televangelist and an ardent supporter of President Trump, had harsh words for the president. And it seems like now is the time to say, I understand your pain. I want to comfort you. I think it's time we love each other. But the president took a different course. Robertson lambasted the president for threatening to move military troops into American cities unless the nation's governors control the violence. Matter of fact, he spoke of them as being jerks. You just don't do that, Mr. President. It isn't cool. So let's get to John Carl back with us again tonight from the White House. John, I know you were in the motorcade today witnessing those protesters, their signs. The president, though, unwavering on this tonight. And also this evening, a former president now weighing in, John? Former President George W. Bush out with a powerful statement that condemns the, quote, brutal suffocation of George Floyd and says many doubt the justice of our country and with good reason. President Bush does not mention President Trump by name, but he does express support for the protesters, saying, quote, those who set out to silence those voices do not understand the meaning of America or how it becomes a better place. That's President George W. Bush tonight, David. All right, John Carl, thank you again for this reporting throughout the day and this evening. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.